Welcome to the city, home to billions of people all over the world, hotspot for innovation and culture, but also a carbon-emitting beast and mass consumer of natural resources. It is here that the circular city of the future is emerging. The state of California has set its sights on carbon neutrality by 2045. With these goals, we need to rapidly decarbonize our cities, including the ways we live, work, learn, and move around. The Netherlands wants to be fully circular by 2050. A cluster of Dutch companies in circular urban development is committed to a bold vision of the future city in the Netherlands and in the United States. A city in which resources circulate at their highest value for the longest time possible and waste is virtually non-existent. They believe that the neighborhood is the place to start because that's where sustainability meets human experience. So let us guide you through a day in the life of Sam, a resident in California's future circular neighborhood. Good morning, it's 9 a.m., a sunny L.A. morning, and Sam is dropping his daughter off at school. She's doing a science project this week on the water conservation taking place on the roof. In the circular neighborhood of the future, water is a precious resource. Rainwater is captured on rooftops, and gray water is recycled inside buildings. By designing an ecosystem of services around rainwater, we can ensure nothing goes to waste. A polder roof designed by Metro Polder transforms roofs into smart, controlled water storage. The roof serves as the foundation for a green roof, rooftop garden, or solar park, and enables irrigation, infiltration, or a connection to gray water systems like hydroloops. By taking a systems approach, we can make gains at the neighborhood level too. DESA's Raw Materials Management System comprises the collection, transport, and processing of residual flows from across the neighborhood and transforms it into energy, nutrients, and of course, water. Dutch WaterNet experts offer global support by offering sustainable, integrated solutions for water issues as the removal, purification, and transport of wastewater. It's 11 a.m. After dropping off his daughter, Sam is doing some research on purchasing a new home because the family is expanding soon. Luckily, this is easily done at a modular construction factory nearby. In the circular neighborhood of the future, choosing a house means choosing from a system of interconnected resources. Healthy, bio-based materials which sequester carbon are guaranteed from renewable sources, and solar energy production is built into roof modules. Design for reuse ensures the possibility to adjust buildings more easily to support changes in your life. Residual value calculations like those powered by TNO stimulate reuse of available resources and waste streams. And building passports like Medaster's allow us to quantify the positive impacts of using bio-based materials. Each home comes with a digital building passport, which connects to a marketplace for circular products and services like LEDAX. LEDAX is the world's first lead substitute with the same properties as traditional lead, but without harmful effects on health and the environment. Circular by design, at the end of each product's life cycle, it can be recycled and reused as LEDAX again in a new application. 1 p.m. Lunchtime. Sam visits his neighborhood food hub to pick up a burrito and signs up for a cooking class where they use fresh greens produced with hydroponics on site. In the circular neighborhood of the future, residents are more connected to what they're eating because they actually see it grow. By taking a systems approach, we can grow locally using significantly less water and land. And by combining it with water and waste treatment, we close the loop of biodegradable waste within the food system. Grow X accelerates sustainable and local urban agriculture. By combining extensive farming experience with artificial intelligence, it becomes possible to provide on-demand produce with consistent quality. 2 p.m. On his way home, Sam runs into his neighbors gardening a collective plot near his house. 
This area was recently transformed into a garden co-op to rebalance nature in the district. In the circular neighborhood of the future, the community is the client. Supported by platform technology, co-creation has become the norm in urban development, and the needs of local residents are translated into neighborhoods that also improve the health of the planet. Crowd building is the starting point for collective living. The crowd building platform connects and supports groups who want to realize their own buildings. It links groups to locations, projects and professionals to help these shared dreams come true. Space and Matter discovers, designs, and develops strategies that support a more democratic, distributed, and sustainable city. The office uses design as the glue to bind disparate fields together and build resilient neighborhoods. Four o'clock. Sam has an errand to run at the local energy center. With his parents visiting this week, his household will need more energy. Sam is able to locate surplus energy at the local school and request a transfer. Sorted! In the circular neighborhood of the future, energy is shared across the entire community by a decentralized network based on renewables. An energy exchange platform turns consumers into prosumers who produce more energy than they consume. Residents have the freedom to choose how their energy is managed and sourced. An energy exchange system like Spectral's harnesses blockchain technology to provide a transparent transaction system for automated negotiation of energy trading. Quantifying and visualizing a neighborhood's metabolism can quickly highlight major opportunities. Metabolic maps material, energy, water, and waste flows through a neighborhood to understand where impacts are highest and value is being lost, serving as a robust basis for a circular economy strategy. 6 o'clock p.m. After school pickup. Sam and the family visit the new neighborhood playground. They even played a role in designing it. In the circular neighborhood of the future, the 15-minute city has been realized and we no longer have to travel long distances to work, learn, or play. We have converted infrastructure for cars into infrastructure for people and bikes. High Tech Road develops and produces a soil stabilizer product, which is circular by design, reduces construction time and costs. The reuse of materials is now the norm, coordinated by statewide material banks, which enable communities to locate the products they need. Super Use Studios repurposes decommissioned windmills from California as architectural or playground elements, giving the rotor blades a 100 years extension of their life. Bio-based materials have become widespread, and technologies like 3D printing have become much cheaper. Public space furniture like Actuals is produced in a zero-waste process, made from recycled waste plastic, which is transformed into seating or sunshading structures durable enough to be placed in public space. 10 p.m. Good night. It's been a busy day for Sam and his family. It's all these elements together, from water to energy to public space, that create the circular city. A city that's sustainable and carbon neutral. Welcome to the city of the future. Think circular. Act circular.